Hello good people, welcome to True Vikings. Yeah, where are we today? We are in Abisko, Sweden. And why are we here? Oh, we're gonna search for some rocks, caves, some oh. geology things. For sure. Oh, well, all these minerals that we find are in my heart at least treasures. Mm -hmm. So, what do we got here? Here, geologists? Yeah, I found some nice looking cordierites in this shale. That's the round things, right? Yeah, they look like a little bit like some kind of disease. Oh. Okay. Sedimentary rocks, I would guess. I'm also geologized. <laughs> so let's find some nice nature. Ah, Walk around. Like right a here. waterfall here. That's a good start. It's a, a silver fallet. Yeah. I haven't seen any silver, but. Uh, I think it gets the name from the that it looks like silver. Okay. Like wine, That's pretty cool. Yeah. And what's that thing over there? That one is Lapurten. It's like the most photographed uh, thing in the whole of Sweden. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty, but it's no rock. Yeah, well, it's yeah. uh, made by these uh, ice things. Ice uh, things? Ice things. How does he know so much? Like glaciers and... Glacier. Ah, yeah. that's and it. Ice age. Ice age. Formed it. Yeah. Well, it looks, it looks pretty a anyway. little bit like a skate ramp. <laughs> So that's what we have to look forward for today. Hiking nature, woohoo, gonna be awesome. I found a beautiful crystal. It's real brown and nice. Sadly, I'm afraid it's broken glass. Oh well, could have been something cool. Have you been finding anything, Al? Yeah, I have, but you're somewhere here now. <laughs> oh, you threw away our treasure? Yeah. Hmm, that's no good. Some n really nice looking garnet you can find everywhere if you look close enough. Like here. Everywhere, he said. Ooh. Here I found one. Where's the garnet? Uh, there? Or you could maybe see one garnet. Oh, the red ones. The red ones. That is maybe something cordial, right? That's cool. Wow, the hunt continues. Do you see anything? No. There's some snow down there. Oh, and there's the big waterfall. That's like a man-made hole made in 1899. Wow, only like because of the, uh, they didn't want to build the railroad. The ore railroad on the on the river or in that yeah. every day I learn. Yeah. How do you know so much? I just read it from the sign here. This one. Well, huh. that, that explains it. Yeah. I usually read stuff like that. I just read the Bible myself. God's word. This one. No man. God. Man. Nah. God. <laughs> This river has flown here for thousands of years, formed this canyon, big canyon in this dolomite that is a like, magnesium rich uh, carbonatic rock. And look how pretty it is. Four hundred to five hundred millions of years ago, this dolomite was formed in the Caledonites. Guys, guys, I found gold. Gold? Gold. <laughs> Solid piece of gold. Did we bring the shovel? No, not this time. Oh. Well, hammer and chisel. Not that either. Well, we know where it is. Uh, we'll come back at night. Pick it, pick it up. With the pickup. 
It looks like we don't have to make YouTube shows anymore. We found a big treasure. So, <laughs> well, thanks for <laughs> watching, but this is gonna be the last clip. This will be our last episode, and we're gonna go drink. I'm going to... To the bank. Hawaii? Yeah. Bahamas? Bahamas. Bahamas? Hmm. Yeah. How are you? Nice life, and... <laughs> See you later. Here we found this beautiful piece of... Uh, what would we call this one? Some kind of sedimentary... Rock. Yeah, it's an old ocean, uh, old ocean floor. Yeah, and this has been moved now with the ice, yeah. and the ice age on top of this one. Yeah, I That's don't know where, nice. from where it has been transported. Probably not that far. Okay, what but do we got here? Here you can see like this red feldspar, feldspar have probably yes. been like a. Uh, been sedimented in a like shallow waters. Okay, that's pretty cool. And this silt, darker stuff, yeah. uh, have been sedimented in a, like a more deeper ocean. Uh, okay. So it's traveled further yeah. down to the ocean than the so big particles. So here you can see some changes of the ocean levels, you could say. It has wow. been from shallow water to uh, deeper, shallow, deeper. Yeah, different sequences. Oh. You learn so much from just watching a rock like this. Yeah. And y'all. Guys, we found something awesome. Look at this. That's, some people would say it's just a hole in the ground. But we see something more. What do we see here? Well, this formation here is called a giant kettle or giant cauldron and you can make one by having a hard rock, a stone, a pebble circulating in a soft rock so it will grind it out and then it goes deeper and deeper and deeper uh, when we get the stream passing by, water circulating in the water and in the end a small piece of rock, hard, it's worn out, away and what we have left is a big hole, very smooth very nice, you see it's just been going round and round and round and that's how we get that. That's pretty cool, right? That's awesome. Yeah, but I like it. But I still believe it's the giants who have made this one. No, it's called the giant kettle because old people believe giants were cooking in them. Because yep. you can find the massive ones, like really three, massive. five, ten meters deep. That's a small one. But still very, very cool. We have a Another one here that is a bit deeper and in the shade also. I'm impressed. That's and possible. I'm not complaining about the background either. Nice little river.